serious trauma detected. Hello everybody, how you all doing? My name is Raffle. welcome to today's video. Today we have another legendary solo build. This time it's probably the best legendary build for solo attempts. This is not a new build, this is not something that people don't already know. However, I thought to myself that since, you know, I've started this whole new series on my channel where I go over solo builds for legendary missions, the best solo build cannot be missing out of the series, right? So, I've actually talked about a very similar build. Uh, I was going with the Negotiator's backpack in that build and the Fox Bears instead of the Negotiator's Dilemma knee pads. However, it wasn't on a solo legendary build. It was in, in a different video where I was going over uh, very, very good builds that you have to get. However, when I was making that video, I didn't have this whole series on my channel where I'm going over solo legendary builds. So I thought it was time to give this truly amazing build another look so we're using four negotiators dilemma pieces memento backpack furnish group ap chess piece with focus on it and then a good assault rifle now there are two main things i want to talk about obviously why not perfect focus and why memento and not the negotiators dilemma backpack before we do that let's get out of the way with the rest of the pieces as you can see here 15% weapon damage, 12% critical hit damage, 6% critical hit chance. On my gloves, 15% weapon damage, 12% critical hit damage. Knee pads, 170k armor because I want to have at least two blue core attributes for this build. And then 12% critical hit damage. And then on the holster, 15% weapon damage, 12% critical hit damage. My stats here, 53% critical hit chance, which can go all the way up to 59 in case you want to change one of the gear modes from 12% web critical hit damage to 6% critical hit chance and 125% critical hit damage. My weapon is the Polisian 4. You can go with whatever assault rifle fits your playstyle, whatever assault rifle you like. However, you need to have the 8 times scope in order to proc focus on it. And you need to have the 10% damage targets out of cover attribute because that's going to be the best option for you. If you go with damage to armor, it's going to be great, but it's not going to be as good as the damage targets out of cover. For the talent, you can go with Killer, Stranded, Optimist, whatever you enjoy, whatever you can get over there. All three talents that I just mentioned are going to work great. Then we have 15% Assault Rifle Damage and 21% Health Damage. Health Damage is actually quite important for this build, for every Legendary, if we're being honest, simply because you have Tangas, you have Dogs. The rest of my mods here, 5% Critical Hit Chance, 5% Critical Hit Chance, and 20 extra rounds on the magazine. Moving on to Specialization, we're using the Gunner for the 10% armor on kill and the extra fire rate every time we kill an enemy. Now let's talk about why Memento and not Negotiator's Backpack. I want to be completely clear and say that if you don't go with a Negotiator's Dilemma Backpack, you're actually missing out on a lot of damage. That's because if we read the gear set description, at two pieces we get 15% critical hit chance, at three pieces we get 20% critical hit damage, and at four pieces we get hostile negotiations. 
critical hits mark enemies for 20 seconds up to 3 marks total. When you critically hit a marked enemy, all other marked enemies take 60% of the damage dealt. So, if you mark 3 enemies and you're only shooting at one of them, the other two are taking 60% of the damage you're doing to the guy you're shooting. So if you're shooting somebody for, let's say, 1 million per shot, then the other two guys are taking 600k per shot, right? Whenever a marked enemy dies, gain 2% critical hit damage, stacking up to 20 times or until combat ends. Now, the backpack actually is very, very good because it increases hostile negotiations damage to additional marked enemies from 60% to 100%. So for the example that I gave you earlier, if we're shooting somebody for 1 million, the other two guys, instead of getting 600k on them, they will be getting 1 million done to them. They're going to be taking the exact same damage the guy you're shooting at is taking. So the backpack is actually a huge DPS increase, right? It is a very good option and most people will go with it. The reason I didn't go with it is because personally, I feel more comfortable having the 3% armor regeneration from the memento. In case you decide to go with a backpack, the second brand set piece that you should go with is the Fox Prayers for the 8% damage target set of cover or the Picker's Holster. It's up to you because the Picker's Holster is going to give you one blue core and then it's going to give you another red core, right? Where is it? Over here. There we go. Moving on to the test, why did I decide to go with Fenris Group A, B and Normal Focus, which will give me just 50% increased total weapon damage instead of going with the pristine example, which will give me 60% total weapon damage. The reason is actually very simple, because I think that most of you will have a much easier time acquiring a Fenris Group A, B with focus on it, than acquiring pristine example. If you have pristine example, please, by all means, go after it. The damage difference, it's really not that important. It's uh, maybe 10K per shot. Let me actually show you real quick. So as you can see here, with the finish group A, B, max focus stacks right now, I get 382, right? With pristine example and maxed out, focus stacks, 386. So the damage, the damage difference is really insignificant. Uh, the, the, there isn't going to be a, a big difference. You're not going to notice it most likely. But if you want to have the best amount of DPS, then the pristine example is the way to go. Obviously, here I have 13% weapon damage. When in the Fenris A, B piece, I have 15. So at the end of the day, the pristine example might hit a little harder. But still, the difference is going to be 5, 6, maybe 7k per sword. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter use whatever it's easier for you to get. So yeah, that's it pretty much the build, guys. Of course, we're going with the Crusader Shield. It's going to give us a couple of extra seconds out of cover that we can, you know, shoot at enemies without having to worry if we're going to die or not. And of course, the Revive Hive to give us a second chance in case things go wrong. Now, as I said, guys, this is a very well-known and very common build for people who attempt to clear solo legendaries. The only reason that I'm actually covering this build is because I start this whole new series on my channel where I'm going over solo builds that actually work. So yeah, that's it pretty much guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to support the channel, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day everybody. Bye bye.